Satan, a name that evokes a myriad of images and emotions, occupies a unique position in human consciousness. Across cultures and throughout history, the figure of Satan has played a central role in shaping beliefs, narratives, and worldviews. Often portrayed as the embodiment of evil, rebellion, and temptation, Satan represents a complex amalgamation of theological, literary, and psychological concepts. This essay endeavors to explore the multifaceted nature of Satan, tracing his origins, examining his various depictions, and analyzing his significance in religious, cultural, and psychological contexts. Origins of Satan To understand the concept of Satan fully, it is essential to trace its origins and evolution across different religious traditions. The roots of Satan can be found in ancient Near Eastern mythology, where figures like the Mesopotamian god Enki and the Canaanite deity Baal Zebub bear resemblances to later conceptions of Satan. In Judaism, Satan emerges as a celestial prosecutor or adversary, depicted as a challenger to human virtue and obedience to God. The Book of Job offers one of the earliest portrayals of Satan as an accuser who tests Job's faithfulness. In Christianity, Satan takes on a more prominent and malevolent role as the ultimate adversary of God and humanity. Drawing from Jewish traditions, Christian theology elaborates on Satan's rebellion against God, his expulsion from heaven, and his role as the tempter of humanity as depicted in the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. The New Testament further develops the figure of Satan, presenting him as the ruler of demons and the antagonist in the cosmic struggle between good and evil. Islam also incorporates elements of the Judeo-Christian Satan into its theology, portraying him as Iblis, a fallen angel who refuses to bow to Adam and is subsequently cast out of paradise. In Islamic tradition, Satan is seen as a deceiver who seeks to lead humans astray from the path of righteousness. Theological Perspectives on Satan The theological interpretations of Satan vary across religious traditions and theological frameworks. In Christian theology, Satan is often understood as the personification of evil, the adversary of God, and the instigator of sin and temptation. He is portrayed as a fallen angel who rebelled against God out of pride and was cast out of heaven along with his followers. Satan's primary role is to oppose God's divine plan and lead humans away from salvation through deception and temptation. In addition to his role as the adversary, Satan is also depicted as the tempter who lures humans into sin and disobedience. The story of the temptation of Christ in the Gospels illustrates Satan's cunning and his attempts to thwart God's purposes by enticing Jesus to abandon his mission. Another theological interpretation of Satan focuses on his identity as a fallen angel who leads a rebellion against God. This view emphasizes Satan's role as a symbol of free will and the consequences of disobedience. Satan's rebellion against God serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of pride and the consequences of defying divine authority. Furthermore, Satan plays a significant role in eschatological beliefs, particularly in Christian theology, where he is often associated with the end times in the final judgment. In apocalyptic literature, Satan is depicted as the ultimate antagonist who will be defeated by God at the culmination of history, ushering in the establishment of God's kingdom on earth. Despite the variations in theological interpretations, the figure of Satan serves as a crucial symbol in religious discourse, representing the forces of evil, temptation, and rebellion against divine authority. Literary Depictions of Satan In addition to his theological significance, Satan has also been a prominent figure in literature, serving as a symbol of defiance, rebellion, and existential angst. One of the most influential literary portrayals of Satan is found in John Milton's epic poem, Paradise Lost, where Satan emerges as a complex and tragic figure who defies God out of pride and ambition. Milton's depiction of Satan as a charismatic and rebellious figure has captivated readers for centuries, inspiring numerous interpretations and adaptations. Satan has also been a recurring character in drama and fiction, often portrayed as a seductive and manipulative figure who preys on human weaknesses and desires. From Goethe's Faust to Dostoevsky's The Brothers Karamazov, Satan appears in various guises, challenging protagonists to confront their moral dilemmas and existential crises. 
In modern literature, Satan continues to fascinate writers and readers alike, serving as a symbol of the human capacity for evil and the struggle for redemption. Contemporary authors often recontextualize Satan in new and innovative ways, exploring themes of power, authority, and the nature of evil in a secular age. Cultural representations of Satan. Beyond the realms of theology and literature, Satan has also left his mark on art, music, and popular culture, becoming an enduring symbol of rebellion, transgression, and countercultural defiance. In art and iconography, Satan is often depicted as a horned and cloven hoof figure, wielding a pitchfork and surrounded by flames. These visual representations reinforce the image of Satan as a menacing and diabolical adversary, embodying the darker aspects of human nature. In music, Satan has been a recurring motif in various genres, from classical to heavy metal, where he is often invoked as a symbol of defiance and anti-authoritarianism. Artists like Robert Johnson, Black Sabbath, and Marilyn Manson have incorporated satanic imagery and themes into their music, challenging conventional moral norms and social conventions. The rise of Satanism as a religious movement in the 20th century further underscores Satan's cultural significance. As practitioners embrace Satan as a symbol of individualism, hedonism, and personal empowerment. While Satanism encompasses a diverse range of beliefs and practices, it is united by its rejection of traditional religious values and embrace of rationalism, skepticism, and self-determination. Satanism has also been the subject of controversy and moral panic, particularly during the Satanic Panic of the 1980s, when allegations of satanic ritual abuse and conspiracy theories proliferated in the media and public consciousness. Despite the lack of empirical evidence supporting these claims, the satanic panic had a lasting impact on popular culture and public perceptions of Satanism, reinforcing stereotypes and stigmatizing marginalized communities. Psychological Perspectives on Satan From a psychological standpoint, Satan represents a complex and multifaceted symbol that reflects humanity's collective fears, desires, and moral ambiguities. Carl Jung, the Swiss psychiatrist and founder of analytical psychology, viewed Satan as a manifestation of the shadow, the unconscious aspect of the psyche that contains repressed desires, fears, and impulses. According to Jung, Satan serves as a mirror to the darker aspects of human nature, challenging individuals to confront and integrate their shadow selves. Sigmund Freud, the Austrian neurologist and founder of psychoanalysis, interpreted Satan as a symbol of the id, the primal and instinctual part of the psyche that seeks gratification and pleasure without regard for moral considerations. For Freud, Satan represents the unconscious drives and impulses that underlie human behavior, often leading to conflict and inner turmoil. Social psychologists have also studied the phenomenon of satanic panics, exploring how collective anxieties and moral concerns can manifest in mass hysteria and moral crusades. The satanic ritual abuse controversy of the 1980s, for example, was fueled by widespread fears of satanic cults and ritualistic abuse, despite a lack of credible evidence supporting these claims. Psychologists have attributed the phenomenon of satanic panics to a combination of social, cultural, and psychological factors, including moral absolutism, media sensationalism, and suggestibility. The phenomenon of Satanism encompasses a diverse array of beliefs, practices, and ideologies, ranging from theistic forms of worship to atheistic philosophies of individualism and rationalism. Theistic Satanism, also known as traditional or spiritual Satanism, involves the veneration of Satan as a literal deity and the practice of rituals and ceremonies aimed at invoking his favor and protection. Lave and Satanism, on the other hand, rejects the supernatural aspects of Satanism and instead emphasizes the pursuit of personal autonomy, rational self-interest, and skepticism. Historically, Satanism has been associated with various countercultural movements and subcultures, including the occult revival of the late 19th century, the 1960s counterculture, and the punk and heavy metal scenes of the 1970s and 1980s. Contemporary Satanism encompasses a diverse range of practices and ideologies, from esoteric rituals and occult magic to secular humanism and atheistic activism. Despite its diverse manifestations, 
Satanism remains a marginalized and often misunderstood religious movement, subject to misconceptions and stereotypes perpetuated by mainstream media and popular culture. Satanists themselves have often been the targets of discrimination and persecution, facing accusations of blasphemy, heresy, and moral corruption. Satan in the modern world. In the digital age, Satanism has found new avenues for expression and advocacy, with online communities and social media platforms providing spaces for Satanists to connect, organize, and share their beliefs and experiences. The internet has facilitated the dissemination of Satanic literature, music, and artwork, allowing Satanists to reach a global audience and challenge prevailing norms and taboos. In addition to its religious and cultural significance, Satanism has also been appropriated for political and social purposes, with activists and artists using satanic imagery and rhetoric to critique authority, challenge orthodoxies, and promote social justice causes. From the Satanic Temple's advocacy for religious pluralism and reproductive rights, to the use of satanic symbols in LGBTQ activism and feminist protests, Satanism has emerged as a potent symbol of resistance and dissent in the modern world. Furthermore, Satan continues to serve as a symbol of rebellion and nonconformity, inspiring individuals and movements to defy authority, question tradition, and assert their autonomy. Whether as a literary archetype, a religious icon, or a psychological construct, Satan remains a powerful and enigmatic figure whose influence extends far beyond the realms of myth and theology. Let us conclude this. Satan is a complex and multifaceted symbol that has fascinated and captivated human imagination for millennia. From his origins in ancient mythology to his modern manifestations in literature, art, and popular culture, Satan represents a potent symbol of rebellion, temptation, and existential angst. Whether as a theological adversary, a literary villain, or a psychological archetype, Satan continues to exert a profound influence on human culture and consciousness, challenging us to confront our deepest fears, desires, and moral ambiguities. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, the enigma of Satan serves as a reminder of the enduring power of myth, symbolism, and the human imagination.